When machining with the Pocket NC 5-axis desktop mill, it can be challenging to accurately register a part for secondary operations. The only built-in mechanism for doing so is manually touching off, which is not all that accurate, and is relatively tedious if you need to work off features more complex than, say, a flat plane. Thus, I integrated an inexpensive touch probe from Verz.bui, which allows me to reliably probe in five directions. I combined that with some custom G-code subroutines to also probe to the center of cylindrical or square features, and have been using it for other tasks that you can accomplish with an automated probe. Before we get started, if you want to see more of this content, click like and subscribe, and that makes all the difference. Now, let's get into the details. The standard VERS.BY probe has a 6mm shaft. I usually run a 4mm collet in my pocket NC V250, and that is the largest diameter it can hold. To make this work, I disassembled the VERS.BY probe, carefully mounted it in a manual lathe, and then turned down the OD of the shaft to 4mm, finally grinding it to a smooth finish with emery paper. Next, I used the built-in adjustment screws to dial in the probe tip so that it was concentric to within a few microns of the spindle rotation, tested using a 2 micrometer dial indicator. The electrical integration turned out to be more challenging than I had expected, but was still doable. My solution was an adapter module which intercepts the cable that runs to the B-axis and provides a connection point for the probe. To figure out what needed to be done, I disassembled my machine and decoded the logic signals. Then I created a simple adapter circuit, soldered it up, and then designed and printed an enclosure. The end result is that the probe can be connected or disconnected at will and activates in parallel to the built-in tool setter. Before I realized that Fusion 360 has built-in probing primitives, I went ahead and coded up some simple ones that I could use to measure to set my work coordinate system and measure the outer or inner diameter of cylindrical features. My hand-coded ones assume that the feature to probe is relatively close to 0, 0. The initial probe direction is selected by manually positioning the probe along one axis at the diameter to start probing from. Then when it runs, it tests all four axes, identifying the center and reporting the measured diameter. These use a few helper subroutines that I copied into the Pocket NC's built-in subroutine directory. The designs for the adapter board and the enclosure are open source and available on GitHub at github.com slash jpeeper slash pnc under probe, and linked in the description below. A more detailed write-up of my modification process can be found on my blog, also linked below. Once again, click like and subscribe if you want to see more, and thank you for watching.